about how we can automate metrology. Now, Andy, what cell have we got here? It's good to see you again, Gio. This is um, the smallest of our fully automated uh, self-contained scanning systems, the 4105, with a core sensor attached. It's yeah. our entry-level system into automation. Well, I've got to admit, it looks extremely impressive. What component is it checking, and how long does it take to check? Okay, this particular component is a high-end automotive casting from a gearbox. Um, the application itself is to sort of illustrate what might happen in a factory where you've, you've got a casting, you need to know is there enough stock material for it to go to the next process, which could be a machining uh, cycle. So if I do the machining, am I going to take the, the, uh, the, the walls too thin, for example? So leaving excess material in the right places effectively so you can reset your datums accordingly. Now, it's creating a point cloud here. Can you ex explain how this works? Yep, so what you have on the screen there looks for all intents and purposes to be a solid model, but it's really not. This is a, a digital definition made up of millions of point clouds to give that full 3D representation of the part. So if we were to look at this with a conventional CMM, you're only going to be picking out maybe 100 points of inspection. You don't really know what's happening in between. The beauty of the full 3D definition is I can bring in the nominal information and very quickly see exactly where the differences to the nominal are. And this is generally portrayed as a, as a, as a color plot, so it's very easy and visual to see. Um, or we can export it as specific geometries if that's what you demand from the system. Andy, that's a fantastic review. Now, this really illustrates how combining automation with scanning technology, it's really showing what is possible and, and how you can become effectively more efficient and save time. Yeah, I think so. This particular measurement cycle is taking about two minutes, but to be fair, we've a little bit slowed it down so people can see what's going on. But uh, yeah, so we're picking up five million shots per scan with this particular run. It's taking about two dozen images. Cheers, Andy. Thank you.